This is a short tutorial of the Law School Admissions Checklist and Results Tracker by David Busis. When you first land on the template, you're going to see a checklist of things you need to do for your application to law school. You can click on the checkboxes to mark them off, and you can also add things to a specific category. Let's say I want to add something to the plan category, add a to-do, and I can just write my to-do here. And you can also add due dates here in this column on the right. Next, if you go to the school list, here's where you can enter your max um, LSAT scores. Let's say I got a 165 and my GPA is a 3.75. And here you can start selecting your schools that you want to apply to. Let's say I want to apply to University of Chicago. And right away, you'll see the difference between your max LSAT score with the school's uh, median LSAT score. And I'm just going to go over here and copy a bunch of uh, data from another sheet. And this is what it looks like once you uh, fill out the entire table. You can hover over any of the schools that you select and you'll see all the data behind that school, such as their acceptance rate, uh, their application fee, and you can also select whether or not the, t the school is a reach, super reach, and if you hover over any of these uh, categories, you can also learn more about what a target versus reach versus safety school is. And you can mark if you're applying early decision and the date you're applied and any notes about the application. In the results tab section, you can click on the result of your application, whether or not you get accepted to the school, denied, waitlisted, held, and also anything about scholarships, and other notes for results. And if you go to the school median section, you'll see all data. This is from the US News World Report top law school 2020 rankings. You'll see all the data for over 200 law schools and all their median LSAT scores, GPA, acceptance rates, all the, the stats that you care about when you're applying to law school. Finally, if you need any definitions about the headings in the rankings, you can go to the key section that David made to read more about what these mean.